What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with me, your boy Iggy. Today we are going to continue work on the wool farm and ooh, do we got some got some plans. It could be a long episode, it could be a potentially slightly shorter episode, depends on how quick we get this done. I uh, do not have a lot of time to record and I'm unfortunately getting my wisdom teeth taken out tomorrow. That's going to be fun, so that might put me out uh, for a little bit, but that won't matter to you guys because these episodes are recorded uh, a little bit in an in an advance specifically for events like that but uh yeah so wolf farm uh i uh, afk'd for a couple hours here uh this morning while i was running some errands and we are starting to get some stacks of wool which is perfect because we're going to need that for today's today's project so i actually have a empty shulker box here that we're just going to plop down and 16 levers that we are going to go ahead and put on the backs of these blocks right here to lock these hoppers that will be important in a little bit and basically the wool will just collect in the uh hopper minecart and not get put into the uh the chests are not allow these uh hoppers to send the uh the wool blocks anywhere because we're going to need to be diverting them over to a uh, dropper circuit over there so we can get everything into our uh, storage building so it'll be a nice simple we won't ever have to come over into this building if we don't need to we can probably stick some other farms in here like probably put the uh cow crusher over here or maybe not because it's kind of noisy but have uh, a couple spare sheep, a couple spare cows, maybe a little chicken farm, just animal stuff. Like I said, we don't really necessarily need to come into this building now, but I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the wool here or a stack of each color and then um, we'll join back up with you and we will start getting uh, this put into our item sorter that we've got up there. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we have got our wool and we've got some item frames here and basically we're just going to come along and put our item frames on all of our chests so we know what color is in which chest. We'll just get all these on there. They're kind of annoying because you have to shift place them and then let's see we'll get this stuff out of the way here. And then just grab, well, actually, I guess I can carry all of these. Uh, no, we're just going to, nope, nope. Just thinking out loud here. So we're just going to grab one of each to put in the item frames. And then we can remember what order that these go in when we put them in the item sorters above so that the correct color actually goes into the correct chest. So we just get last couple here. Boom, and of course green. And then I'm gonna get these all thrown in real fast. Alrighty, perfect. So we've got all of our chests all set up there and then everything will go down to the bottom one and then work its way uh, up to the top. So we are all good to go there. So now we can head back upstairs to our various little farm room. The vines need to be harvested. I actually just, just did the dripstone because uh, it was going to be kind of in the way. So let's see, we'll plop down our shulker box with our wool and then our project box here. And we're going to need to put down an anvil so we can name all of our item filter items here. So let's see, brick, you are now item filter. And same thing. Perfect. 
Perfect. Okay, so now that we've got our uh, item filter items here, we can actually put our anvils away and get our bed out because it's nighttime. And then we can come to the hoppers and because we did them in the order of the wool colors here, uh, let's see. Let's move the important stuff up here, get this out of the way, and then we can dump off everything that we don't necessarily need. And we can't put a shulker in a shulker, of course. And then put all these at the top. Grab all of our wools and making sure to keep them in order, which is not too difficult because it's just your basic color gradient. Get those. All right, and then we'll come to this hopper right here and we're going to put our item filters like so. And then the, uh, Almost full stack, and it'll drain down to um, 41, I believe. But because we do this, everything that we won't have to wait for it to uh, accumulate before we start seeing stuff in our chest, which is why I did the uh, AFKing over a little bit of time, just so we'd have enough here so we can actually see if it's working properly from the get-go and make sure I did not forget any chests or uh, hoppers here as we're going so we'll alrighty perfect so this should all be set to go now Let's see, so we're going to need some glass to, well, let's, okay, so we can put this away. I'll no longer be needing you. Put that with our other shulkers, and then I guess we can take this item sorter item out, put those in, and then we'll just put these other ones back into storage. So, pick this guy up. I don't think we're going to actually need the redstone box because we've got most of our redstone gizmos we're going to need for today's project in here. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Get our bed. Grab that. Now the part that is going to be a little bit tricky is uh, the water streams. But I think... I know a way that we can combat that with signs. So we're going to have to have this actually be one higher in spots. So let's see, this back one right here. Uh, I like kind of nudge my way over. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. We're going to come up and then this whole thing needs to be a block higher. Like so. And basically the reasoning for that, which you will see here. Oh wait, this is my steps. So we don't need to bring those up. But what you can do is if you've got so water will go eight blocks. So it'll come up right here. And then it'll start, it'll flow eight. So if we have it up one, it should go eight. It might be get the full sixteen if we have it come up not like to the second one, we'll have to test. But if it doesn't, what we can do is when it gets to the block where it stops, you basically put a sign on this block right here, so the upper block, and then a water source next to it, which will go down and then continue to flow that direction. So anything that does not get picked up here, so for example, the white wool that we have down at the end will get continue to be carried along and we can actually probably you know what 
this is going to come out for the time being. We're going to just kind of move this so I've got room to work. And if we bring this up like so, and then bring this up. And I'm tempted to make, you know what? Uh, yeah, this is a full block, so we're going to pull this one out. And have this come up like that. And then we can get our scaffolding, which is not in that one. I think it's this one. Now, where is our chest that we put all of our normal? Okay. Yeah, we can chuck this stuff in here. Grab that. Your chest goes to the second one. Bed goes there. Um, uh, bucket of water I've got. We can plug it with that. Actually, I'm going to need some wood for some signs. So we'll get a crafting bench. Sign, perfect. Okay, so let's test this out. We'll get our scaffolding. We'll come up and then we'll put a blocker right there and then we will take our water bucket and put it on this one and hopefully it doesn't flow out but just in case we'll do that and then we'll put that there and then how far does that go does that go all the way that goes about halfway okay that's kind of what i figured so with that then, what we can do is come and I'm going to go grab some water from my fancy renewable water source right here. It's just uh, a cool little thing that I put in for when I need a bucket of water on the fly like this. Uh, it's just some dripstone and a cauldron. Pretty neat. A little life hack for you for 1.17. Come on back here and we'll get our scaffolding back out and the water goes to about there. So we'll pop up one right here and get our sign, place that right there and then water source right there and it, does it go back or it does go backwards? Hmm. That could make Things tricky. Hmm. Alrighty, well, I sat there confused for a little bit thinking about this, and then it occurred to me that we don't need that additional water because these hoppers right here well um, it's a hopper line like the item sorter is underneath so items will just move along the top until you know obviously it passes over the uh one where it can go down because as i've said before hoppers will always prioritize going down before any other direction so yeah nothing really needs to be be done here and Actually, um, let's see, do I have just like a little bit of iron in one of these? I don't, all I have is a block. Okay, well that's fine. So what we're gonna do is actually uh, get ourselves a bucket. One of those so I can pick up this other uh, water source right here. Yeah, and then because we won't we won't be needing that, and so actually it's time to sleep, which is actually nice. That makes life a lot easier because we can just have it kind of come up and spill over into the uh, basically the water elevator will come up right here and then just end at that block and then just right over into into there. So that's nice. We can go ahead and actually. Uh, Probably put something over like a 
casing on top of this just so random stuff isn't getting in there. And I guess if we did something like that, that should work. And then we can just continue the glass across over the top of the rest of the hoppers if this actually works the way that I uh, am envisioning it. So, let's see. Yep, we do have a glass block there, so that won't be there. And then we need to be able to put the water in. So we're going to leave that alone. Grab our boxes here, actually. Let's see. Like I said, you bringing you guys along for the ride so you can kind of see like the thought process that goes into, you know, me doing all of this. So we're going to need all of this stuff here. Get my lanterns back. Uh, hoppers we're going to need for sure. Uh, and I think that's everything. All right, so let's go ahead and run back down to outside. around the back here i need to go team one like these horses here at some point i wonder if any of them are good uh good jumpers or extra speedy quite a few options too hmm. all right well different project for a different day so anyway we've got our let's see items are going to come up right here so this is where the soul sand is going to Go. So let's see. We're going to need some placeholder blocks. And let's see. So full sand right here. The dropper would need to be right there. Okay. So let's see. Our soul sand there. And then we can get rid of that block and then we'll get our placeholders and come let's see like that and then we can get our robber actually this should have been this needs to actually be way lower I'm just making mistakes left right and center today okay so let's see we'll get rid of that get rid of that our glass continue that down and we'll get rid of these and continue this down and then let's see so our hopper line is basically going to come from the block right above our head or actually the block where our head is so that would be right there and it's going to come across all the way over to here so that will go there this will come out and that will come out and then we'll just continue our glass tubage down we can get rid of these placeholder blocks because i actually did not need those after all this comes down and then actually this is just going to just work out because then we can have our soul sand right there and then let's see pull this guy out for a sec here that goes there and then we get our dropper which will go there facing into where the water stream will go. Perfecto. Get rid of these. And then basically all we have to do now is have a hopper line. So these should be locked. Nothing should be coming into these and everything should be staying inside. Yep. As planned. Alrighty. And then let's see. I guess we can come Keep it close to the wall here, so we'll do it like this. Yeah, so and then it's gonna line up with this one. Oops. Let's 
So yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to have a hopper line that comes underneath all of these hoppers right here. And this should just be the right. Yep, perfect. So this way when I turn this off, items will instead of going into the chest, go into... Well, instead of not going anywhere, they'll flow down into these hoppers and then go this direction over into the dropper. And then from the dropper here, we are going to have our little unloading circuit. So as usual with the redstone, we have one of those. And then I believe it is a comparator on top like that. And then there is a sticky piston there. And then on top of the sticky piston, Nope, that's not what I wanted. Actually, I believe it's supposed to be looking at that. And then we have on top of here one that looks into a block that would be right here, I think. Just trying to figure out what the best way to... Uh, Oh, actually, you know what? Do it like this. Change the order that we place the thing. So we'll do that. And then we'll have that one looking at that. And then we can remove that. And then we can have that one looking at that. And then hypothetically, if we put something into here, it should get dispensed into... Yeah, perfect. Okay, awesome. So that's all set. We've got our... Uh, item unloader all set up and everything is fitting nicely into a nice clean little footprint here you know actually i could probably have this coming off the back and it would yeah you know what i'm going to add so all right so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to move this to right here so it's uh not so close to the edge and then get the uh, rest of the Hopper lines put in and then we'll join back up and uh, get the water in this thing and see if it uh, actually functions. Alrighty, so we are inside back up at the top where we've got our, uh, our hopper line and our items and I'm basically just going to place, let's see, so right next to this one, water source right there and it floods and flows into this top hopper which is perfect that's exactly what we wanted and then we'll come down with our kelp and we will get that planted and then bone meal it all the way up to the top perfecto Alrighty, and then let's see we go back down to the bottom and we sh get rid of this and we should have ourselves a bubble column yep right up to the top and then we get our glass. Take it our glass and put a cap on that. Perfect. And then we can go outside and fix that up. But now when we go and turn the levers, item should come up. Or funnel through the hopper line into the dropper. The dropper will then automatically unload everything into the bubble vader. What will come up and flow over into this block where it will then get picked up by the hopper and start making its way down the hopper line, which is perfect. And actually, because we don't have water for most of this, we will not be needing most of this glass. A lot of this is probably getting picked up by the hoppers, but that's fine. Let's see, so we go up until that point right there. And then that would float all the way down to the end here. Is there any more coming? Nope, that looks like it. But just so that doesn't happen again, we'll just go ahead and get that all filled in like so. And actually it gives us a nice little window up here. Not that we're going to ever use it, seeing as how this is going to be connected to a building that houses the, uh, the farm over there. But just giving this one more final look over, everything seems to be in order. So we'll check this last hopper again. Alrighty. Good to go here. Grab our crafting bench. And actually, we can put these back. 
now that we're no longer in there and just for play it safe we'll just throw a couple lanterns in here like that awesome okay let's head outside and uh have a look see oh it didn't go how i expected it to Alrighty. So now, hypothetically, when we start flicking these levers, items will start flowing into this system. So, give it a shot. Oh, yep. There we go. All right, things are happening. Let's go get the rest of these uh, levers flicked so we don't get too much build up. And actually, you don't hear that as much if you're not like that close to it, but yeah, awesome. All right, so now which one of these, did we have one that had all of our wool? I don't think we did. I think this was just kind of our BS box, so yeah, we can start chucking stuff back in here that we're not going to be not going to be needing. Uh, let's see, hoppers are important. Glass will keep. Scaffolding will keep. We need that to fix the roof. That can go in there. That will go in our redstone box. Perfect. I guess we'll fix that roof block before I forget. Yep, and it looks like the items are doing what they're supposed to be doing, so that's a good sign. We'll just head over real quick. We can use my elytra entrance that I set up. Just because I wanted a way to be able to fly into the storage building. Up to the top here, and I'm going to have to make it so the path can go the other direction as well, so I don't have to walk all the way around, but... Everything's going to plan. I came up too high. I did not okay, well that's going to be an issue right there. It looks like we've got some leakage. That should be fixable with a block. But let's get that uh, get that brown wool real quick. Okay, that looks better. All right, and then we'll go down to the chest floor. Some random stuff that had fallen in before we had set up the uh, item sorter but let's see so 46 so that one went up one let's get all the so yeah mm, so yeah these are all actually going up from what they originally had so actually we had some yellow we can chuck in there and we had some brown that we can chuck in that one Yeah, and we are uh, we are getting wool. So it looks like the uh, connection or the item, I mean that ticking is going to get real old. Do you hear that when you're on the other end? Okay, so when you're about this far away, it goes away. What about down here? Okay, good. And in the half of the uh, building that I primarily use, I won't be having to listen to do that. And even over here, it's not... Too bad. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I would say that's a resounding success. Uh, next episode, we can uh, work on getting the structure done. Or, uh, and we'll just head out there and just to make this faster. We'll get the elytra and have ourselves a little flyover. So yeah, basically we'll connect this building up and have the roof line come out onto another little uh, another little building. So it'll kind of have the same point, maybe just a little bit lower, like right there, whatever it takes to kind of 
cover that little bit and then it'll just come out and we'll have a nice little uh a nice little side structure here built onto the uh, storage building and then i was thinking for uh, episode 30 you know between episodes i would tidy up and then uh we'd have a little bit of a world tour to see what we've accomplished so far so thanks for watching that's where we're gonna end the episode for today uh don't forget to like the video get subscribed leave a comment down below i love reading your guys' comments share the video with a friend if you think they might be interested check me out on twitter twitch and patreon or all of them are at iggy Haxer. uh once again thanks for watching hope to see you next time and you have a great day Bye bye